Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is my end of the year LA vlog. Fortunately, during this time, the Vegan Street Fair was hosting a weekly vegan market called Vegan Sunday. It's a free entry event with numerous vendors for you to choose from. They had a vegan version of almost everything you could think of available here. It was like paradise for me. I wanted to buy every vegan shirt. They looked so cool. In the end, I decided to try out the Nashville Hot Chicken Sammy by Lettuce Feast. There was a long line waiting. I've been following their Instagram for a while and now I could finally taste it. You can't really tell from my face, but I was screaming inside. And oh my gosh, I fell in love at first bite. It instantly became my number one favorite food in LA. Good, right? Did you get the chicken? Yeah, yeah. Is it good? Yeah, it's pretty good. Right? What is it? It's like a possible burger? Or? No, this is just their, their special fried chicken. I was curious to try the sorbet filled fruit shells and I got the peach one. It was light and refreshing. I also got to try Thai iced coffee for the first time. Look at me and my reusable straw. Oh shit. This is the Thai coffee. Like, let's walk further. What if it tastes like shit and my expression is bad? I don't want the owner to see. I didn't know how to feel about it. The coffee was very strong, but at the same time, it was super duper sweet. But it was good. The name of the shop caught my eyes. Stoner Girl Treats and Eats. This is the CBD matcha cupcake. Look, it's the devil's lettuce. Is that what they call it? It contains CBD, but it doesn't get you high. I didn't taste the matcha though. Another place that I fell in love with during this trip was Monty's Good Burger. You must try their secret menu, the dog pile. Look at that impossible patty with fries and cheese and five kinds of sauce. Look at that. I highly recommend their strawberry milkshake as well. I reunited with my close friend Emily to explore LA together. This is our Airbnb room. <laughs> this cute apartment is in K-Town and it's only... I think it's around $80 a night. It's pretty nice. Why did we stay in K-Town? Because both of us like Korean guys. <laughs> we went to Uba Tuba to have acai bowls for brunch. Emily got the Almada bowl topped with fresh blueberries, strawberries, banana, and granola. I ordered the acai legal bowl, which comes with more acai and two toppings of your choice. Mm. So strong. Afterward, we went to an IG hotspot, the last bookstore, before she ditched me to go on a date with her oppa. Meanwhile, I was wandering inside the museum on Edible. It was fun. This is another IG hotspot on Melrose Avenue, Paul Smith Pink Wall. Before heading to Irvine, we stopped by Eco Park to have brunch at Mohawk Bend. It's a bar and restaurant housed in a renovated theater space with high ceiling and plenty of seats. Most food items here are prepared vegan. Emily had the avocado toast from the brunch menu. It was topped with sesame and hemp seeds served on a sourdough toast. Their buffalo cauliflower served with vegan blue cheese dressing was freaking impressive. It was so flavorful. 
很好吃哈，看起来很好，可是不够暖，嗯，所以 cheese 也没有 melt 的很完美，它就会没有 melt。不好看，不好看，太干了，比麦当劳还烂的鸡块。Not only it was worse than McDonald's, it also cost eighteen dollars. 每个都分开来的。嗯，这个汉堡不是合在一起。对对对，好失望哦。This is our room in Irvine. We'll be spending 10 nights here. We tried our best to be productive during our stay in Irvine. But there isn't much to do here, so I didn't vlog properly. Beyond crispy tacos filled with Beyond meat. And that's the Beyond burger. Her first Beyond meat. I love watching her biting into a big burger. Cause she looks so cute. I ordered some food delivery to my hotel room. Look at this truffle impossible burger. Oh, shit. I highly recommend this. We also got to enjoy brunch at Vibe Organic Kitchen and Juice. The Blue Magic smoothie bowl looked really pretty, but the taste was alright. The Fiesta bowl, though, was quite something. It was consists of jackfruit carnitas, chipotle black beans, pico de gallo, guacamole, crispy pumpkin seeds, and cashew lime crema. A healthy version of chipotle salad. Today we will be heading to Santa Monica. I will be driving from Irvine all the way to LA. I'm pretty nervous, but it will be a challenge. Hey, hey, kitty. We carpooled with my friend Edson, Joe Nix, and a new friend Bernard. Yo, yo, take it, yo, yo, take it. My mind is moving so fast. I just have to transcend the time, and it seems like I come here at last in the present moment. Call me alien. I do what I want because I'm never hating man or woman. Looking like I came like I out of the womb, man. I don't know, I mean the womb, man. Yo, appreciate the girls. Don't hate them or put them under the world that you are creating, like you've been forsaken. Going to hell, but really I'm raising. We stopped by a Whole Foods in Santa Monica for lunch. You guys ever got that vegan barbecue one? Oh my God, look at all these vegan options. Sauce. How do they charge? They just weigh? Uh, oh, yeah, I'm gonna count. Oh, this looks good. Carrot cake. <laughs> no more cookies. Oh, man. Not so bad. You know, those are all the whole quick. What a sweet jaw, eh? You know, sweet jaw, need a whole quick. They order hunt song. What does it need a young face? Thank you, man. Uh, yeah, no problem. You're so bad. You're so bad. Yo, this guy right here is from ATL. Edson, Bernard, and Joe Nix are professional b-boys, by the way. walking down 3rd Street Promenade because there's just so much to see. So many cool shops and talented street performers. Eat it! Dare I? 
Bite it, no, bite it. Go like this. All right, here we go. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> mm. 26. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's war, bro. My G. Yeah, see, that's my G. My G. Oh my god. 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 Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> hey, yo, what's up, bro? Andrea, what's up, G? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so simple. <laughs> hey, yo, Ricardo. 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 fun to hang out with talented dancers. I was high the entire time. One of the best places to experience Christmas in LA is definitely the Grove. They got festive decorations and a huge beautiful Christmas tree. Another cool thing is that they do snowfalls every evening at 7 and 8 p.m. Wow, how male. It was a dreamy winter wonderland. Last night in LA. Wee. The last day of 2018 was also our last night in LA. Emily and I went to a New Year's Eve countdown event at the rooftop of Intercontinental Hotel, Spire 73. It claims to be the tallest open air bar in the Western Hemisphere. There wasn't any cute guys though, so sad. They had a couple of vegan friendly items on the menu. They were not cheap, but they tasted good. I was expecting some epic fireworks, but there wasn't any, only a few small bits scattered throughout the city. So that was my last vlog of 2018. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
Please support me by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and hit the subscribe button. Also, turn on the notification alert so you'll know when I upload a new video. See you!